Hello everyone, GWR TV. I'm Decker here. Just want to talk a little bit about the Rift, which I was so excited about and a little bit less excited. I'm going to tell you why. But first, let me show you what the Rift was totally made for, hands down. Here, we have a build that I grabbed from this guy, Crazy Wizard Guy. I grabbed this build. Thank you so much for that, man. Appreciate that. So here's what the Rift is for. Now, for this kind of thing where you have a fusion carrier, but to do this wonderful thing, you have to do this. You have to have a wasp that shoots the ground, blows up a fuel barrel, and of course you don't need an Apollo because, you know, poor energy. And that leaves you with this. There you go. So now I jumped into the other build and we are driving and having fun. And it's a little bit of a waste though because now I'm missing... I now have four less energy than I should and I have four less energy worth of a weapon than I should, so I'm kind of weak compared to everyone else, and that kind of sucks. Still have a high PS though. So what are we gonna do about this? We're gonna slap on a rift, of course. So instead of this guy, and instead of this guy, I'm now, and instead of this guy too, I'm now gonna replace it with one little piece, which is of course the rift. Now, of course, you probably know by now, what it does is it's going to blow up and it's going to have all the parts not attached to the cab are just going to fall off. Not detonate, just disintegrate. There you go. So, obviously, first you couple and then you would blow up your scaffold. Voila. And look, you still have your Apollo, you still have your extra weapon. So that, my friends, is huge, completely tremendous, obviously don't do this, but completely, completely huge. That's why Rift is so freaking amazing and why it's so exciting. And what else can you do with a Rift? Well, Rift is really good with art builds. Alright, so here's my art build. The yellow part is what I want. The green part is totally for show. This build is totally not viable unless I get rid of the art piece. Like that. Now this build is totally, totally viable. See, totally, utterly viable. <laughs> but yeah, the art truck bit that it was on is gone. So that is really exciting. Totally exciting about that, yeah. Yeah, really, really exciting. That's the use of the Rift. It's very specific and I'll tell you why. I was really excited about this Rift so much um, until the sad day when I discovered that the rift does not attach to frames. It just can't do it. It can't attach to frames. Oh my god, how sad is that? It can't attach to frames, and also it can't attach to movement parts. So, couldn't say like, let's have a leg over here for the hell of it, for derps, and then just lose the leg. You can't do it, you cannot attach to the rift. So that is extremely sad. Let me tell you why that's sad. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so let's say we have this little derpy thing over here, and it is meat grinders over there with spider legs. Now, what say you lost a spider leg, now you're totally useless, but don't worry about that. You have a rift to blow up these outer frames and the legs, and now you're a meat grinding tank. So let's say this piece over here is blown up, your legs are gone, and now you are a little meat grinding tank, a transformer build. Unfortunately, transformer builds will not work because the rift does not connect to frames. See, it does not attach to frames. And there's just nothing I can do, nothing I can do to make it attach to frames. I just can't do it. See, it does not attach to the frame. So, rift goes boom. Pulls up the rift, but does not pull up the frame. So you could still do this build. How do you do that? Well, you have to do the usual thing with the wasp. So let's try this out. There you go. I'm just a leggy boy, just a leggy spider boy. Ignore me. And now for some reason, I lose a leg or something, I want to drive around like a tank. So 
There you go. Now I am a tank transformer build. I can still do this, but I still need to blow myself up. So um, that's why I was so depressed about this rift not connected to frames. I mean, think about it. You can have like a transformer within a transformer. So you can have like two rifts. One blows out the legs, one blows out the grinders or the tracks, and now we used to have wheels or something. And transformer builds, I think, are really freaking amazing. And um, the rift was specifically made, guys. The rift was made for fusion scaffold builds. That's really it. And art builds too. And maybe, possibly, you could also do something like this, where let's say you have your Apollo, and let's say you're running a spear build, which this is not, but if you had a spear build, I mean, don't do this obviously, but the Apollo is four energy, the spears are four energy. So when you're done with your spears, and the Apollo is now useless, there's the Apollo. It's really heavy, it's explosive, and now it's gone. So that's another really good application. So if you have some lances here, one, two, three, four. Now, what Marb was talking about was if you have this setup, once the lances are gone, your Apollo, your useless Apollo, by the way, disintegrates. It is not a problem anymore. However, the Apollo is really heavy gonna make I mean this is not the best setup I get it but your Apollo is really heavy it makes everything top heavy and and messes up your weight distribution really badly so yes it does work it does work however if um, you could stick your Apollo someplace you know where it doesn't really affect the weight so much like under the cab somewhere and just detach it with the rift I'd still say it's worth it to do it that way or let's say you have something like a mammoth and you don't even bother to have ammo. You have like a like a machine gun build, you have all the machine guns all over the place. So you have machine guns all over the place, but you also have this mammoth just for the hell of it, or maybe you'd had like a tsunami just for sniping. And you purposely snipe for a while, but then you run out of ammo, which is no problem, and then boom! Your gun is gone. And now you can do what you wanted to do. So you have like, so you can multitask. Now I have, so this is a sniper. Once you're done sniping, it's time to move in. You rift. And now you are a machine gun or a shotgun maniac. So you have like a dual roll build. How about that? Test if rift does damage when you blow it up next to someone. It doesn't. It doesn't do any splash damage. But yeah, I mean, I'm happy to oblige you, though. But I'm, I don't mind some testing for you guys, but it doesn't. No. No damage, see? It does no splash damage. But yeah, that is all the possible uses of the Rift I can think of right now. I really hope the devs change their mind and make the Rift work with frames or movement parts. I'm not sure that could break the game, that could make people just kind of abuse it in bad ways. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, that's about all I have to say about the Rift. Like and subscribe always. I'm like at a 430, man. 430 subs, that's huge, man. So really, really appreciate what you're doing for me. And I will see you guys later. Don't drop that dark and dark. Hey, don't drop that dark and dark.